Hey everybody, welcome back. We had fun on the last one. Let's try to get some dubs this time. Look, I see a 1-3, I take, if I have to. Uh, I see a strawberry, I'm a fan. Let me get, let me get pill bug, kiwi. You could say that I overrate the pill bug, that's fine. But what do you want me to take instead of the pill bug? Let me get a crispified nut. If we had birds, I would take them over the pill bug. If, if it was an apples to apples comparison, I only had three gold remaining. Holy cow. Level two cockroach. It, 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 feel free to screenshot. That goes kind of hard. The one squad victory. Look, I think you can run this now. I still would love to see birds. With no birds. Buff your seahorse. Buff a single iguana. Freeze an iguana. We don't need a strawberry. I mean, we do at some point for a kiwi to benefit, I guess. I think we need to not go too in on uh, on the pill bug. <laughs> then it gets strong, and I would never sell it. And I tunnel vision on it, and uh, it, it leads to despair. Oh, not to a cockroach again, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Cockroach, confirm best unit in the game if you get a thousand of them in your shop. Now, this is not so bad, okay? I think you immediately look at going like start of battle effects with this salamander and wouldn't you, would you look at this salamander start of battle effect sell me start of battle effect all of a sudden we got a 6-4 unit on the squad that has scaling potential into the, the rest of the game as well. Now, it's a bit buy me, sell me, okay? I, I won't deny the fact that it's a bit buy me, sell me. That felt pretty good, though. I think the Salamander can go off. It's a start of battle effect. We take. It's a start of battle effect. We take. I'm all in on the Salamander right now. I don't need, you know what? I would like you to have some HP, maybe. We'll think of, you know what? First things first, though. It's a start of battle effect. Let's take that. I would still love the Salamander to grab some HP if possible. But we can also approximate some HP just by using a, um, a lollipop when they show up at tier 3. How am I feeling about this? I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling fantastic. This squad is... It's going off, man. We lost the first two rounds. Once cockroaches fell off, all of a sudden we're in the driver's seat again. I'm, I'm feeling fine. Now, you may have noticed the theme. Start a battle. Now, I can't reconcile in my head why, like, three gold for a two... Uh, a two-zero buff on a unit, it, like, feels that good. You're not a start of battle effect, so I don't care. I think it's that normally I spend all of that gold on re-rolling, and most of the units we get around this phase of the game don't live long enough uh, anyway for us to pretend like we're going to keep using them forever. So even though it seems cost-inefficient, because we're, we're holding on to the stats that we buy for so long, I think there's some merit to it. But I could be wrong. We'll take our level, of course. You're just a great unit, to be honest. I would be happy to, like, sell, buy, sell, and then maybe, honestly, just hit you with a cucumber real quick and toss a little anteater out there. But to be straight up with you, we're, the number one thing we want to see right now is a lollipop. A 722 is going to go a lot further than a 227. 17 attack unit. That's, that's pretty nasty, but this is where the anteater can shine a little. Yeah, it did it. And the bonus is we got the anteater already. So if we want to pivot to a faint build in the late game, the, the scaffolding is all there. I do, I kind of think you're an underrated buy seller. Like sell, buy, and then we start looking. Like our first, the roll is free. Do we have start of battle effects? Yes. No lollipops, but I'm happy with it nonetheless. Okay, get sold, get bought, still chilling. No start of battle effects, but honestly, I, if I'm being straight up with you, I think a toad right now probably goes harder than a seahorse iguana. I think you can also sell your iguana at this point. 
We're still looking for lollipops. I'm I'm scared because I wasn't paying attention for one second. We didn't accidentally roll past a lollipop, did we? Just the maybe the lollipops only show up at round four, but an eight twenty six will go a lot further than a than a twenty six eight. Let me tell you. Okay, weakness. Not bad. Still not bad. Good enough. And it's popping. This is the, not even the final form of the Salamander, man. We're already at four wins in seven rounds. I think you're gone. I know how it looks, but I'm telling you, it's all in service of the Salamander, man. And perhaps a Vulture will show up later. You know what? Roll me. I, I love it. Roll me. Still no lollipop? No, no, no. I still don't see you, Clownfish. I, I don't see you doing what I, what I need you to do here. I don't really need a level two woodpecker. We can, we can save that for next round. I'd love to just see a, a start of battle effect. You're a bit of a buy sell, but not really. You're a start of battle, even though you have no impact. I'll take your two support. Okay, there you go. There you go. This round is a crapshoot. We basically have one good unit and a, a couple of units that generate status effects. Salamander? If that hit the Salamander, I think we win the round. Because we would have two for one with the Salamander instead, but that's okay. I'm, I'm happy where we stand because I know what we're doing next. You get bot. We probably should have swapped you first. Okay, now you're a 934. It's a good place for you to be. We're going to sell. You don't need to be level two. One of you doesn't need to be level two. Okay, so we can keep you then. Keep you. Freeze you. Something good. Something better. Important, of course. I mean, it, it, technically, this is something, so sure, let's do that. An 11.35 with some weakness applied. You think there's... You're, so you're saying there's a chance? Overriding some irrelevant equipment? Please, the anteater. You're, you're doing it? Buff the right units? That's the wrong unit! Wait a minute, is it? Is it? We're popping. We're still popping. We're still living. These are big moments for us. Five wins. At this point, you really need... Well, actually, something needs a green pepper. Whether or not it's you, I don't know. I would like you to get to level two. Sell me. Buy me. Freeze me. Somebody needs a green pepper. It doesn't have to be you, probably. Maybe none, nobody on our team has enough attack to warrant a green pepper right now. Shell me. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. Sure, 18, 30, 1837 unit, two weakness, an anteater, and a little snipe, like a completely useless snipe. What's going on here? Please, anteater, you can do it. You did it. I don't believe it. Okay. Brain empty, just buy units build has made it to the believer threshold. There are those who said it couldn't be done. Now, this is serious faint build potential. I still want starts of battle. Like, I'll, I'll definitely still do this. But I feel like an orca on the squad and then pray for a vulture. Okay, I'll level with you. Like, I'll give you an obvious one right off the bat. I think on this particular round, we're looking for this. Then we, we still got some pivots to a potential faint build that in theory could have the gas required to get us to 10. Now I can't help but notice they got a vulture. Bit, bit spooky, but not that. It's that spooky. It's not that spooky. Let's go. <laughs> One vulture gives us the gas we need to push for 10. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, man. Something's got to go. And it's, it's got to be you. Although you break green peppers, which is... Not, but then it doesn't... No, no, no. The weakness has been great. There's no denying this. 
but I think we need we need to think about our future. I think our future is like a lot of buying and selling <laughs> still, but also like, what about two of these and a vulture? Holy cow. Okay. So we're not a hundred percent there yet. And our vulture, you got to remember, it can always get sniped. But this is the softest pivot I think you're ever going to see from one archetype to another. Okay, coconut armor. Always nasty. Good snipe. Anytime you kill a unit, you're happy. Now, they got some strong creatures here. Don't get me wrong. Stronger than mine. Not quite. As, as good of a pivot as it was, they just got a better squad. You got to respect that, okay? Seven wins. Considering the circumstance, I'm still pretty pleased with that. Keep in mind, it was not that long ago. We were getting bodied on this pack every single game. Early cockroach. Freeze a strawberry for a bird. We get a bird. I mean... Look. Holy cow. This actually might be the, the greatest crime ever committed. I'll be a, a, a sticky package. We've probably used that many times. You know when you get an order from Uber Eats, but the package leaked? Happens all the time. We only draw these, but still, that early salamander is going to help. And it wasn't the salamander that cost us last time. It was not getting anything else. I would say buy me. I would say buy me. You're simply a, a better buff, although it would be nice to have a bird out here. Maybe you're not a... Yeah, I don't know. I got to think about it. This is a strong team, though, man. And this salamander is going to annoy the crap out of people, which is like, a, a, it's a virtue in my world. I am stunned that we're going to lose round two. I didn't think you could make this team much better, but that's okay. We got our eye on the future. We got a start of battle effect. We have a start of battle effect. We, we have a start of battle effect. And I think it'll actually work out in our favor here. Like, I think it'll it'll buff the bird, and then the bird will buff the salamander. And it will become a 14-8 unit, which seems pretty solid to me. I can't believe we have zero wins. This is, like, close to what my ideal team would look like right here. The math? Whatever, we're still chilling. Thank you, cockroach. Thank you. There's so many start of battle effects, like tier 1, tier 2. Even just getting what we got one turn early is like, I am pogging. Um, buy me? You're just good. I, I could find a place for you, quite frankly. You're just, you're just a good unit. I'm very content with this. I'm, I'm content with this. I don't know about you, but we could, we, we're going to have to sell the cockroach at some point. So maybe we're, we're not so displeased with this. Um... It would be nice if the puppy hit level 2 and then we could have our toad just be a level 2 without actually being a level 2. The math worked out very, very nicely for us here. And all of, I told you the team was good. You just had to believe for a second. Still very content. You know what? I, the earlier we can... I can swap you multiple times. I don't care. I'd be very more than pleased with this. Buy me. Sell me. This is not good, but it buffs the salamander, which is what I'm looking for in my life right now. Anything sticking around? Not really. I wouldn't buy a cucumber. I would fish for stuff to make your uh, your salamander better. Mm. You're always interested, but the, it, it looks like you have a good synergy with our salamander because we're selling a lot. But it has to be the right... You have to sell the right things. You know what I mean? And usually things that have a start of battle effect, I mean, and by usually, I mean literally every time, things that have a start of battle effect will not have um, a, a sell ability as well. So they actually, like, eat each other's lunch. That looked so much worse for us than it ended up being. I will buy a toad, and then we can have a level two toad. Enormous. We should buy and level up first so that we don't lose out on the yield from future salamander pickups. For now, I, don't, I just don't think we need it, to be honest. With you. I just don't think we need it. 
And then if we get another toad, we can buff the bird, which will give us another 2-2 to put on the salamander. And oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. So close. So close to the ideal mathematics. Instead, we lose this, but we lose this feeling good about our future. On three wins, maybe not as good as I thought. Two away from lethal, huh? Okay. Buy me. Huge sell me. You're useless. Huge buy me. But you still... No, we, we don't want double weakness. No, we do, because it'll work four times. Achoo! Pardon me. So we can, we can weaken a lot of units, but it'll probably weaken some units that are already weakened. That's okay. It's better than the bird buff, I think. We just don't need both of you to go level two, but we're still going to push for that, that beautiful trigger regardless. You're a great uh, start of battle effect. I would probably sell a, a pug or a bird to get the hawk out there. Beauty. Beauty. Not scared. Not scared. We draw these. That hurt. We, I really felt like that one was, was a win in the waiting. Um, what do you think about this action right here? I know it's, it's a little strange. What do you think about... A fox is just good. I'll, I'll just give you that. But what do you think about this action right here? <laughs> the, the rare double snipe build with the same unit. Hold on. It did kill two units. That feels pretty incredible. That worked out better than I ever could have expected. Even if one of the units was kind of bad. I'm not sorry. Okay, now I think about it. Now you go back this way. Now we got a 1638. I love that. Um, do we really want a fox? It's always good. But you know what? I'm only saying this because I use it so much. Maybe we just give it a rest for one round because we're on like a different vibe right now. And this vibe that we're on is kind of funny. I still think the weakness is nice, but you know what? What if we had you do a snipe instead? And you'll go first. Okay. It's, it's an interesting way to approach things. It's certainly an atypical build here. I would say we no longer need a strawberry on our salamander, for the record. We killed a fox? That's pretty solid, man. Oh, okay. A vulture with the... With the... With the anteater. Pretty classic build. Wish I thought of it. Made it work. Okay. The strangest team you ever saw that got 10 wins? A man can dream. No, no, no. They, we, we use the vulture too much, quite frankly. It's time to move on. Um, you don't need a green pepper. I'll give you a... You're going to get to 50 attack. It just seems like cheese is not that warranted right here. But I would like to spend our gold. A strawberry is obviously doing literally nothing, but... Toad weakness has been really, like, good. Which is why it's such a shame to have to sell it <laughs> in order to keep a pug around for some reason. Um, might as well, right? I'm, I'm happy the hawk is going to be doing the damage. That's like we, I mean, we keep you around because you're a status. Effect. I don't think we need the barracuda to go any stronger is what I'm trying to say. So we're running the rare. What if we only had one good unit built? That's an interesting uh, approach. Let's see how that's working out for you. I can't even really follow what's happening, but it does appear to be like getting the job done. <laughs> and by getting the job done, I mean narrowly creating a draw in a situation where a stronger squad probably could have gotten an easy win. Um, the Salamander's so close, man. Maybe you don't even bother selling anymore. Maybe you just try to... Buy units you've already got copies of. It's kind of working. The Salamander does not need a buff. You should take this because we'll probably combine you into a level 3 at some point. Copium. Um, and a Pug hitting level 3 is like so probably meaningless. But kind of funny maybe? 
Man. We've gotten like insanely good luck on our on our hawk snipes. I would never besmirch the, the quality of the hawk. Especially after we just got the six wins. I've learned the error of my ways. The hawk is doing what it does. Okay, you're almost maxed. We could get three extra gold per turn. What do you do at the next level? Zero you can only see that in the weekly, huh? The world may never know. The world may have just found out. Okay, deal 200% damage to your... A random enemy end itself? <laughs> 14? So you probably deal 300%. So you probably deal 21 damage. But then you die. I kind of feel like you keeping the stat bonus from this makes... Uh, I don't know, man. You we give you... Okay, here's what we do, Okay. Next turn, we pug backwards, we give you a green pepper, and then you will live through that first attack. You'll only get to attack twice, but you'll live through the first attack. And no, I'm not buying any more Barracudas, because we already got them to level 3, functionally speaking. What a shot, what a shot, what a shot, what's happening, what a shot! Okay, don't look now, but it's kind of working. You need a green pepper. Now that means we could move you up and then add another unit in place here. In your place, I should say. This is not good enough, though. Maybe a green pepper is, but no, 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 not interested. A fox, I just, I, I gotta be honest, I hit you with kind of the snooze on it. Just because we've used it so much. It's a great animal. It's a testament to the quality of the animal that I OD'd on it already. A velociraptor, if we have a strawberry, sure. You know what? I would even keep it around as a maybe as a result of that. Swapping some stats. I don't think it's necessary. Not necessary. No strawberry. I'm content. I'm content with this. Snipes are coming. This team looks well constructed. But I do have to hit you with... Um, oh, that hurts. I do have to... We're going to lose, by the way. But I do have to hit you with the gimme there. Which is that by sniping their toad, what's scary is this is probably like the weakest iteration of this team we ever could have expected to go up against. <laughs> the toad would have made our life even harder. Strawberry? Okay, just because you don't get a strawberry, you don't have to tunnel vision. But nothing there is good enough. Nothing there is good enough. Inevitably, if I could see what all future iterations of the shop would give us, I would probably you know, not run what we're doing right here, and instead I would just buy the highest yield thing. But obviously we can't seem to get, like, the highest yield thing, so you're now useless to me. Um, we can't know that in advance is what I mean to say. Okay, so hold on. We can give a 14-14 buff to something? If only I could give it to you, and then, you know, you see the... Uh, but maybe... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Start of battle. At the start of battle, give a friend plus three experience. Okay, hold on. I'm thinking... You getting a 14-14 buff will have you do like 52 damage to an enemy? No, more than that. Okay, I'm going to get insane. So the pug is only going to provide a very small benefit here. But I kind of love the idea. You should two for one with the green pepper. Whatever you shoot should die. Please... I you, you hit a vulture. That seems like maybe it's the best thing I could ask for. And yet we're still going to lose. Okay, maybe my team at the end of the day was a little too memey. But did I have a good time? Yes. We're really struggling with that late game pivot. The, the, the thing that gets us from 7 to 10. But we're not struggling with this, okay? I'm struggling with this. I don't know why I'm even running this. This is like a guaranteed round one loss. Let me be a frigid bagel. You ever go to the grocery store? You want to buy a half dozen bagels? The bag has condensation on it and it's cold to the touch? I'm not expecting that every bagel I buy at, you know, Save On Foods is going to be uh, freshly made just for me because I'm mommy's special little boy. All I'm hoping is that maybe you could at least make an effort to, like, look like they weren't just in your freezer until you ran out of bagels. You're serving me like ice cold bricks, man. Hold on, hold on. I don't see mathematically how we could uh, lose this one. It's a weird squad, okay? This is not typical. I'm not in my comfort zone right now. 
I think a koala is okay. Especially like if we if we super buff it to begin with. Then we look for uh, immediately it needs to be a yak. Sell me. Place me. Now the yak will get one negative one per turn, but then it will actually get a buff from the koala when it gets hit, which means it's going to be it's going to get two attack every turn for free. Not well, not for free, but like by itself. I do that right. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. What is going on? Anytime I see someone swapping stats, I'm like, you must know something I don't know. Now, Koala Yak and some early momentum, it can be a recipe for, for a great run. I'll tell you straight up as well. Two Koalas. Now, you are getting one damage. So you're, you're going one, negative one, but then we're adding two, two on top. Holy cow. So you're going three, one every turn. Now, you could food up your koalas here. I mean, there's no better foods for our current situation than this. We'll, we'll get you leveled next turn to, to try to take advantage of a stronger unit. You're already tanky. We should make you as strong as possible so that when we combine you, you're actually... I mean, you'll be a 9-7 koala on combine. Cost us six gold to get there, but those are... I mean, you're going to be as strong as our yak, effectively. But we don't want to combine you until we hit level two because we're getting a great bonus from having two of you right now. Now, this is not easy instant win territory, as you can see for yourself. But I'm, I love where, where our lead is right now. I love where our line is at. We're three away from lethal, which is a dream come true. The pill bug's providing small bonuses. Level me up. A mantis, it's just not the right time. Now, I'll tell you, a koala would hit the frickin' spot, man. Now, a yak can scale or a koala can scale. I gotta be honest with you. At some point, we're gonna have to combine these koalas because right now, there are two units that are less than the sum of their parts. Or no, wait, yeah. If we added them together, they would be worth more than the sum of their parts. Right now, we have the sum of their parts, and I'm not that impressed. Too strong. This unit is too strong for me. We're not, like, that far off. That's a heartbreaking loss, but we really need to see a koala, and then this is going to start to go, man. Not, not interested. Or a yak, you know? Okay, I mean, if you're going to force my hand a little bit... Um, I'm willing to go to lethal. For what, for what I believe in, I'm willing to go to lethal. I am. Or am I willing to... Yes, I'm, this is my best chance right now. Let's start, set it up like this, though. But we want you to get the pill bug benefit, which is... You know, no, this is okay. I only, we, 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 we want to be on you. Okay. I accept that in all likelihood, I'm probably going to lose this round and be on lethal. I think we still get enough of a leap from this for it to be sensible. And I stand by it. We're actually going to win this round. I think our order probably cost us two losses on earlier rounds. There's no reason to have like a 17-1 not at the front, I think. Although it dying to a, a woodpecker would cause me existential dread, so... Okay, we combine, combine. All of a sudden, the koala's got freaking gas. You need one of those. Um, it doesn't look like we'll be selling our bird this turn. That kind of goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. So now, the yak hurts itself once, gets an attack, then gets 2-2, two, two, and then gets 1-1. One, one. Strong. Headstrong to take you on, without a doubt. Oh no, you snipe my koala. He's useless. Hey Tomo. Tomo, we're on we're on a vibe right now, okay? As the kids say. Just let me figure this one out. Then I, I promise I'll I'll let you out of the, the room. But right now it's uh I mean it's going off. 
I don't think it's worth the swap yet. I think we can swap you a little later. The pill bug has got to go. Let's be honest with one another, okay? You're just an almost have to take unit. You will buff a stra random strawberry friend for 2-2. Two, two. For the time being, I'm willing to invest in that. That seemed like a great opportunity to hedge our bets. <laughs> so I, I could have also just kept rolling for an animal that exists only in my head, which is like 50-50, kills every animal it touches, and spawns a version of itself at 49-49 when it dies. You know, but you peace. Confirmed peace. Interesting. I'm glad we didn't go to lethal, okay? I know I said we did a couple times. That's because I forgot where we were at in the game. Go for it. Feel like you could definitely get a fox to be um, better than a 1 1 buff on a koala or on a. Um, on a yak per turn. We can do better than that. Now, no, okay, the, the yak going up a level is pretty important. God, this would be a nice round to live through, man. The koala, this would be it. I'd love for you to eat this taco. I know how it sounds. That's why I said it that way. Should have frozen the taco either way. Yep, because now it's gone. But if we win this round, everything starts to look a little cleaner, man. Everything starts to look a little nicer. This squad doesn't look that scary. Hello, Ruka. I can't see what's happening. Then we lost! That hurt. That hurt. Three wins on my dream team. And now my cat's taking over my desk. Hey, either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. We just got to stick with pill bugs, man. And I'll see you next time. See ya.